it's time for us to give the high the hyperbola an official welcoming okay so we've just discovered this new kind of shape that does this weird type of graph that usually does something like this and that happens because of the x being at the bottom all right so the hyperbola is the fourth graph that has joined all of our graphs we've looked at the straight line the parabola the exponential graph and now the hyperbola and that's all for grade 10 and so as with what we did with the different types of or the previous graphs that we've looked at, we're going to go a little bit deeper into what each part of the graph does. And so starting with this first one over here, we know that that's a hyperbola because it's got an x at the bottom. Now, what does this plus 3 do to the graph? I'm positive that most of you watching this have gotten a pretty good idea of what that does if you've watched the previous types of graphs. Well, what that does is it moves the graph 3 units up. And so for a hyperbola, that means that it's going to have an asymptote that has moved 3 units up. And then we said that the other asymptote for a hyperbola is the y-axis itself, so that over there. So now this graph could do something like that and that over there, or it could go there and there. So notice it always comes in pairs of two, and they always diagonally opposite each other. So how do we know which, quad, which part it's going to be in? Well, I'm going to show you that now. What we're going to see is that when this number up here is positive, then it's going to go in these two quadrants over here. And when that number is negative, then it's going to go in the opposite two quadrants over there. But we'll discover that in the next couple of videos. So now this one over here, well, the plus four means that it's moved four units up. So its asymptote is going to move four units up like that. And then we said that the y-axis itself is going to be another asymptote. And so those are asymptotes. Remember, asymptotes are lines that can't get that, that get in the way. And so the graph cannot go over those lines. And so because this is a negative number at the top, it means it's going to go in these quadrants over here. And then just so I don't confuse you, because this is a positive, this graph goes, sorry, over here and over here. And so the general formula of a hyperbola, because remember we've looked at straight lines where that one's general formula is mx plus c. The parabola had this type of x squared feature. The exponential was when x was in the um, exponent like that. And so for per, I mean a hyperbola, it's going to look like this. It's going to have an x value at the bottom. The plus q, well that just moves the graph up and down. And then there'll be a random letter at the top called a.